Hello guys and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PAFX. This is the place you come to to see a full top-down analysis on all the measures for the upcoming week to help you uh, make your uh, trading plan. But before we get started, I want to mention how much I really appreciate all your likes and comments and your support. Keep them coming, guys. Uh, especially this week, I think this uh, video deserves a double amount of likes because I've done the first one, everything was done to then see that nothing was recorded and I had to redo all that. I can tell you that my wife was not happy about that, taking her uh, precious uh, Sunday time and shopping time uh, away of her because of that. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, while I wrote the interim disclaimer, hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there, guys. Welcome back, guys. A quick look at the calendar. Um, we see that Monday we have uh, lots of bank holidays, so um, you maybe want to skip Monday trading. It's going to be a slow session, especially uh, the New York session going to be uh, pretty slow. During London, we have uh, prelim GDP quarter and quarter for the sterling. Tuesday, inflation expectation quarter and quarter for New Zealand could be an important event, but it's all about Wednesday next week, actually, where we have from the Aussie pri uh, wage price index quarter in quarter to then have the official cash rate for New Zealand, uh, the policy uh, monetary uh, statement the, uh, and the uh, press conference after that. The market is expecting a cut, but uh, we want to uh, uh, see what this uh, press, uh, how this press conference will be uh, to really know what the forward guidance language is. After that, we have the CPI year on year for the sterling, also CPI and core CPI month on month uh, from the US Fed Chair Powell to testify as well on Wednesday. Thursday, Aussie employment change and unemployment rate going to be a mover for this uh, pair for sure. Retail sales for the sterling to then also again Fed Chair Powell to testify. And we end the week on Friday with uh, BOC government polos to have a speak and uh, also on friday core retail sales and retail sales month to month from the us now next week gonna be um, um, an important one uh, looking at the headlines because uh, as you know um, we had uh, this last week uh, lots of optis optimism about the trade war talk and that uh, tariffs were about to be rolling back from the us and all that but we see that uh, under this weekend uh, headlines uh, saying about tr Trump said not to roll back those tariffs. So all those all time highs and those great moves on the stock market could be now time for all that to reverse back down. So uh, be aware of possible uh, risk off week and that will change um, many things and we really need to be aware of that. But we're going to talk about that during uh, where we're looking on the chart. So we will start with the Dixie on the daily time frame, which was uh, a great um, performer last, last week, especially for the bulls pushing a really nice run to the upside. So after this uh, strong break below this trend line, we had this double bottom on the Dixie and continuation. The double bottom got confirmed by a break above the neckline. And it uh, seems that there is some room more to the upside on this market. I'm watching uh, the 618 area up here and to see what will happen if and when the market reach this level, if we're going to see any uh, bearish evidence for uh, the uh, continuation uh, down. Because as I told you last week, we were looking for after this uh, break actually the, the week before we said look for a retest of this level to then look for possible continuation based on this uh, key areas uh, looking left here on the market so uh, now we have um, this area uh, got broken actually last friday as you see and um, it's all about to wait and see how the market sentiment will be do we have any change in sentiment about all that uh, great news about trade war and if the sentiment will change to 
um, uh, risk off or not. Uh, we also have um, some hidden uh, bearish divergence on the RSI already on the daily time frame. So um, uh, also that is a little bit of a signal for a possible um, a reversal. Um, so on the four hour time frame, what we have here was uh, the break of this neckline last week and uh, the continuation. So I, I was telling my um, traders after this break to look for a retest and continuation. We got a, a, a little bit of a shallow uh, correction before the continuation uh, happened. And um, again, there is still some room toward the uh, 618 area up here. And if the markets start moving to the downside next week uh, at the open or something like that, look for um, or look for this level as a possible area of uh, support because uh, this could give you one push to the downside to then give you another bounce to the upside from this area. So this is a very important level. Now, I'm getting many questions, people, uh, especially new traders, getting a bit confused uh, uh, sometimes, and especially now, uh, because what we used to say about a trending market, uh, especially uh, this one here, we had a nice trend going to the upside with higher highs and higher lows, another higher high, and then we had this break strong break to the downside everyone was expecting a, a possible retest and continuation that didn't happen and the questions that i keep getting now is this uh, bullish trend line over or not we do not have um, new higher highs we have actually a major lower low and how to interrupt that well that will keep happening from time to time guys and you um, you really want to keep an eye on your major swing. So in this case, I would say our major swing high is up here and the major swing low down here. So we have these two structures. Those are the levels that we want to keep an eye at. We have uh, this high up here is uh, the major high at the moment. And uh, this down here is the major low. Anything below this low here uh, could signal a continuation. Anything above uh, this high here could signal continuation but i'm actually looking for the market when it reached 618 and the previous neckline to start uh, look for a uh, possible reversal that is the way i am playing it you could also go down to a lower time frame and try to find out nice structures and in this case this structure here is still a really good structure that we need to watch and also on the four hour this structure here is still a good structure with a Fibonacci confluence so those are the shorter term levels that you could watch to play uh, such a scenario when you get a bit confused about the trend the short term trend right now is bullish since we broke previous high and there is a possibility of continuation but the longer term uh, move if we look on the daily we still have a major level here got broken and uh, we still could say there is a possibility for after this break a retest and continuation lower so um, don't get confused by the higher time frame bias you still have room on the short time frame to do the opposite as well Let's look at oil. Oil uh, tested last week many times uh, the 200 moving average on the daily time frame without a break above it. So it's been struggling here, but still it is a market that started a nice reversal move with higher highs and higher lows here to the upside breaking previous structure as you see so the possibility for more upside is still there but it is getting more tricky especially when you start getting these expanding wedge or expanding triangle whatever you call it where the market make uh, higher high and lower low another higher high and another lower low and uh, that makes things very very uh, hard traded but you need to keep things simple in this case we still have uh, our levels of interest still this previous structure swing low here and this high here so this see all that as a possible range instead and things will get much much easier think about we have a uh, bearish divergence on the four hour um, on the rsi 
so the next time and if the market reached this level uh, we could expect a possible bounce lower to then look for a possible profit taking or a bounce back from here in any case for more downside we want to see a break below the structure if that is the case we will look for a continuation move back down to the monthly pivot point or if we see a break above this swing high here, uh, then we look for a retest and continuation higher. Yeah, so keep it, keep it simple. Do not get stuck inside these um, uh, whipsawing that is going on. So make it as a range instead and work with the major structure level you have on that chart. That will be much, much easier. And that what I have to say about oil for next week. Now, if we look at the gold chart, we see that uh, gold did break uh, below the, the low of uh, the narrow range last week. So we had this uh, smaller range here uh, that we've been traded in, uh, trading inside. After those uh, good news about trade talk and all that, we had a strong break below that. And the market is testing right now what is possibly a um, last line of defense before the continuation so i published last week on facebook that i am looking for if the market breaks below this level here on the daily time frame to then look for a uh, possible retest and continuation i still think the market objective on the higher time frame to reach the 1360 area before a continuation and the reason i'm saying that <clears throat> if we look on the weekly time frame we see that after this strong break to the upside there was no real retest of this previous uh, previously broken structure to be a possible uh, retest area uh, that may act as support to then look for more upside but before that guys uh, if that is the case the first uh, smaller objective should be a retest of these levels down here so keep watching that area as well because that may give you a short-term bounce to the upside so we go down back to the daily time frame we see this area could act as possible support to then the major market objective should be a possible retest to this area before the continuation to the upside as first though it is still a support level on the four hour time frame and the one hour time frame so uh, especially if those uh, headlines start picking up and the sentiment start changing to risk off next week you may look for a possible bounce and a retest of this broken neckline here next week okay so that's it for gold euro usd uh, the opposite of what we had on the dixie so if we had on the dixie a double bottom here we had a double top uh, followed by a very nice uh, bearish divergence uh, on the daily time frame uh, the trigger candle was a bearish engulfing candle as well and the market kept moving lower breaking previous neckline so now this neckline is broken and there is a possibility for a continuation to the downside the first level i'm watching as a possible market objective is the 618 fibonacci retracement and this previous structure here the second level would be the monthly s1 and this uh, possible support level yeah so uh, short term there is a possibility for continuation to the downside unless uh, things get uh, pretty ugly about trade war and all that and the dollar start getting weaker once again um, the market also did enter what so-called uh, kill zone for the bulls uh, this area here uh, this rectangle area here is my level uh, first level that i'm watching and the reason is uh, 618 as i said uh, nfp high from last month's previously broken structure and this nice uh, base here where this whole move started from so this area is uh, a level of interest for me and i will be watching this level for any bullish evidence if that is the case i'm looking for at least a retest to monthly pivot point before probably a uh, move back down again so that is my uh, take on EURUSD for next week sterling um been uh, trading inside this range for a while now and uh, we've been following this market so if we go to the daily time frame we uh, we see that we had uh, a possible double top here also with a very strong divergence also we have a break of the neckline here on this market but 
where it is testing right now is uh, a uh, possible level of support looking left this uh, structure here been acting both the resistance and supports many many times uh, here as well uh, here and uh, all these uh, retest previously so it is a pretty nice support area that may act as support uh, as first uh, next week so you need to really watch that level and um, keep an eye on uh, this area if that got broken then there is a possibility so if we have a break like this there is a possibility that we reach 1.26 which is my level of interest for a possible longer term bullish continuation and the reason i'm saying that is on the daily time frame we started a nice uh, push to the upside retest with a higher low another very strong push to the upside and uh, seeing the market doing uh, such a correction back down 50 percent retracement of this whole move is not an impossible task so um, if the market break uh, this level strongly look for a continuation maybe toward this area before you start looking for more upside but as first watch the level where the market is testing right now that is a possible support area and if you want to be more sure if this market will uh, reverse wait for the break of this trend line if that is the case then you may get a retest back to the top of this range okay USD JAPI also gonna be affected of those headlines and the market sentiment for next week. If that is a risk of sentiment, then it maybe could be it here. The market did te test monthly R1 a uh, couple of times, uh, failing to break above it. Friday candle was a star formation and uh, there is uh, some divergence already on the uh, daily uh, time frame on the RSI here as you see. If we go to a lower time frame like uh, the four hour, we see that uh, last week um, on Friday we failed to make a new high. We also have divergence on that time frame as well. And uh, if that um, those headlines start picking up and the market sentiment change to um, risk off, wait for a possible uh, break of this trend line to then look for another move toward 108 area. Uh, the market uh, objective for the bulls is still 10980 1010 if that will continue to the upside without um, market uh, sentiment change then that is where you're gonna be looking for a possible move lower so 1010 is also a possible level uh, to sell if the market will keep pushing to the upside without any change in the sentiment but i'm really really uh, skeptical about that the market will keep having the same sentiment next week after those headlines so there is a possibility of uh, sentiment change to then see this pair going lower new zealand usd is also one of those pairs that will really be affected by, by any bad uh, or good uh, trade talk headlines if um, the headlines are bad for uh, the the trade talk not going as uh, we've been hearing then uh, New Zealand will keep being weak so uh, on the daily time frame last week we had a great chance for a short the market did reach previous structure high up here uh, tested that level after that you get a, a bearish engulfing candle on the daily time frame if we go lower time frame we had this wedge with a divergence uh, the top of the wedge the four hour candle was a bearish engulfing also another signal also you had the break of the wedge that would be another reason for you to go short and uh, if that was not enough you had a nice break retest and again another bearish engulfing candle here that could be your entry always targeting previous structure low so there was so many um uh, signals for you to go short on this market it did break the inner trend line it did break the previous structure low and now we are looking for a possible uh, retest and continuation to the outer trend line that may act as support it is not a confirmed trend line since we have only two um, tests yet but since we broke previous structure we should be looking for 
uh, retest and continuation if we break this outer trend line then we are going to toward, uh, toward this previous low because this whole area is empty here and there is nothing to hold it until we reach this previous low here so keep an eye on that for next week on this market USD chief is also one of those pairs that may um, act as uh, a market uh, safe haven depends on the market sentiment and again if that would be the case and we see a um, risk off sentiment next week then this market uh, could start moving lower from this uh, top of re uh, level of resistance here there is not a strong break above the level the market did close above this previous high slightly but it is not the strongest break so as first watch this level for a possible reversal area here uh, especially if the sentiment to change we do have um, some bearish divergence on the RSI as well and on the one hour time frame uh, we have this possibility to draw a trend line if that got broken next week early next week look for a continuation for more upside on this market it is pretty easy we want to see a break above monthly R1 to then look for a retest and continuation toward uh, next structure level which is these highs up here okay so many markets needs you next week to wait and see what sentiment we have to then base your decision on that do not only follow technical sometimes you need to read also the market sentiment to um, be able to make your uh, trading decisions USD CAD is the one that been also performing strongly last Friday, uh, especially after those um, employment numbers from um, employment number from uh, the um, for the Canadian dollar. Uh, there was bad employment numbers, and uh, we had a strong break above a previous high here. As you see, looking left, it is a daily close that signaling a possible continuation toward next major level, which could be this area up here and the 200 moving average. So, if we go down to the four hour time frame here, we see we had this um, nice bullish flag. Uh, and uh, correction here the flag got broken retested and continuation so we have also a break above the high of the flag here and uh, we should be looking now for continuation so look for a retest and possible continuation maybe toward this neckline here could be a possible market objective if we get that retest and a bullish evidence that we're looking for on this market uh, for next week. Aussie USD also possibly a bearish. Um, in the previous uh, overviews, I was saying that we may uh, see a retest of this major trend line we have here to then start looking for a reversal patterns. Uh, the market starts reversing before that. So we had a shooting star formation followed by bearish engulfing followed by another shooting star formation and last Friday we had the break below the neckline here as you see this neckline here got broken and uh, the most important level on this uh, market uh, for now is actually this previous low here and that could be a market objective to, to reach that level so if we go down to the lower time frame we see that on the four hour we have a nice break below this uh, previous structure and we should be looking for a retest and continuation back down targeting uh, these lows down here to then look for a possible uh, bullish defense from this level the bulls may defend this level and if they will fail to hold that and we see the market breaking below that structure as well then look for a retest or a bearish flag and continuation to the next major level which is around the monthly s1 for this market okay so pretty straightforward on this one uh, what are the level that you need to watch and how to play them so um, yeah guys that was it for today i will of course keep doing the rest of the charts for our trading rooms only and again for those of you who are interesting to see how we work in my trading and uh, chat room where i have a an amazing um, community with uh, lots of uh, great uh, traders with uh, lots of uh, trade ideas and all that we still have the um, 
14 days trial for only one dollar then you will have the chance to be with us in the room and see how we work and decide for yourself if you want to continue or not you could cancel it whenever you want uh, no um, issues at all so all you have to do is just cancel the subscription and no uh, new bills will come so uh, yeah try to do that if you are unsure how things work in PAFX trading room that would be a great opportunity for you so uh, thanks a lot guys and see you next Sunday bye bye